everybody it is your boy Pete and I'm back after a long period off of YouTube and A3 Academy is back I am pretty excited so today we're gonna be looking at the Lewis model of acids and bases so I hope you guys are excited this is gonna be a fun one so let's dive right in so before we look at the Lewis model of acids and bases we need to look at first two other models that were come up with by other people so first we have the Arrhenius definition and then after that we came the brownstead lowry definition and then finally we have the lewis definition so if we look at this each one encompasses the other so Arrhenius come came up with the very specific de definition for uh, acids and bases and then brownstead lowry expanded on that and then lewis came up with even a more generalized definition encompassing more than anything that either the two had come up with before so one encompasses the other now when we normally refer to acids and bases, we normally tend to look at the bronsted lowry acids and bases, but some compounds are Lewis acids that are not bronsted lowry acids. So we're going to take a look at that shortly. An acid is defined as an electron pair acceptor in the Lewis model, and the base likewise is defined as an electron pair donor. Okay, so let's just take a look at an example to see what this all means. So we have our hydroxide ion on the right, and we have our H plus ion on the left, okay? And in this reaction, we see that the hydroxide ion donates one of, one of its lone pair of electrons to the H plus ion, and now they're bonded as one water molecule. So what happened here was the H plus accepted the electron pair, making it the Lewis acid, while the oxygen, or rather the hydroxide, uh, donated its electron pair, making it the Lewis base. H plus had an empty orbital to fill. So here's another reaction. This is a classic reaction between ammonia boron trifluoride. So this is a good example of where boron trifluoride is not a brown lowry uh, acid or, or an acid, but rather when we look at the Lewis definition, we can see that it is a clear acid. So here ammonia is donating its electron pair to boron trifluoride, and boron, boron trifluoride is happily taking that electron pair, making it the acid in this case. So again, ammonia donates its electron pair, making it the, the Lewis base, and boron trifluoride accepts the electron pair, making it the Lewis acid. So yeah, so boron trifluoride, if you guys know, is uh, sp2 hybridized, and it has an empty 2p orbital to fill, and it does that by taking that electron pair from ammonia being a Lewis acid. So that is all for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that short overview of the Lewis model of acids and bases. And I also wanted to thank you guys because A3 Academy just hit 500 subscribers on YouTube. We're pretty excited, and we hope to create more videos for you in the coming days and not and be more active in the future. And as always, guys, the more you know, the better you are. Peace.